know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. <laughs> of London Jim, Jim and me, Jim, Jim and me Jim, Jim, Jim Good luck, we're a bop When I shake hands with you from Animal Kingdom. We got the outer bands happening as soon as we walked in here. You could see them going through my hair here. We're about to go have a wild time. I think that there's definitely like something brewing out there, which I know there is, but there is no one out here. Just one lonely cast member up there by the, the Pumba. You are not going to believe this everyone, but the outer bands have strengthened since we've gotten in here. It's getting pretty intense. I feel like a weatherman, like I'm reporting the weather. My bangs are like staying together though, it's that, that hairspray. See in the trees how much these winds, wow, as soon as I pick up the camera, the trees stop moving. Oh, here comes some little rain. First thing we're going to do today is we're going to go do Flight of Passage because that's the first thing we're going to do today. Okay, now we're talking. These, now if I zoom in here, you can see, you see that? Look at how cute all the little bladder pods are. They had little baby sprouts in here and there's a lizard on that bladder pod. You hear that? It's been about five minutes. My prediction was pretty close, but the thunder is happening. Now we're going to go get in line and do river journey. The rain is really starting to pick up now. Okay, so we got lucky and the rain started after we were undercover and now we're actually already getting on. I think it like shut down for a minute to do the cleaning procedure, which doesn't take that long, like 15 extra minutes, but we got lucky because we got to spend 15 minutes undercover. I love these little guys. Oh, there they go, bye. Look at how pretty all this is. I was just saying, I would love to have this in my house. I think I said it about a lot of Disney things. Like I'm like, one day when I have a house, I'm gonna have this railing. Or one day when I have a house, I'm gonna have this. But one day also when I have my house, I'm going to have this. This whole entire ride, but it's going to be in my basement. Did you ever see like that dad that built that roller coaster in his backyard? So it's gonna be something like that, where I personally build it myself. So I don't know how it's actually going to turn out. So for like the jellyfish, I'll use umbrellas and like hook streamers to it. And I'll have like kids like twist them around so it looks like they're like switching back and forth like that. Fun fact that you might not have known about this ride is that this, this up here is a map of the original Disneyland. It's a secret one, but that's exactly what this is. What did I tell you? I said within 10 minutes, it would be here and it is here. So we ended up in Dinosaur instead of being on Flight of Passage. I know I said that's what I was doing in the beginning, but it rained and then it stormed and then the wind came and the hurricane's here. So we ended up at the Dino Institute, which is, which is really a great substitute. I am really excited because I have not brought back a real live dino since November. Hell there. There was no pre-show, so I didn't even get to see that part. But we know in our hearts that it's there and we love it and we are so excited to be here anyway. Okay, now let's go get that dino. Oh yeah. Here, what are you tracking? Ah, we're never gonna make it out of here! Oh no! We're never going to make it! Mission accomplished. You made it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I'd better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! You're welcome. All of the time rovers have new little windshields on them. Well, I was going to make a pre-show for everybody. I was actually going to set it up and have the puppet show and everything in here in the gift shop, but they took away 
the hand puppets probably for a good reason, but they're not here anymore. So I guess I could improv. Well, it's happening. It's happening again. It is raining. So what had actually just happened there, and I didn't really get to tell everyone, because it's like when it's raining, it's a little bit difficult to like remember to like and be like safe and under the little umbrella. So what had happened was I went with Seeker and we got in our time rovers and we went back to the Cretaceous period. And what we're supposed to do is bring back a real live dino. And um, we did see a lot. We saw um, we saw a long neck, a carnivorous. Um, <laughs> I'm making that up. And we saw a pterodactyl and a stegosaurus and a couple of other things. But at the end of the day, we didn't actually, we didn't get the iguanodon today. So that's how my day is going so far. And so we failed Dr. Marsh. I failed Seeker. I failed myself, honestly. And I failed you guys. I'm sorry. I love this shirt. I just don't like how the sleeves are on this shirt. Are they like, they're not even short sleeve, but they're not a tank top. They're just kind of like this weird little roll that comes out. So it's like, I just love this shirt so much. I mean, if I wore like a jean jacket with it, but it's also crop toppy. And oh, hey, look at that. Hold on a second. I've never seen that. Ooh, this zoom does super zoom. Look at Gaston. I am so excited because it is food and wine and flower and garden and I just learned that the orange bird is actually an orange as a bird. Mind blown? Probably not. For 10 months and there's a wall, the fountain's gone and you can't go this way and get to space your birth. You have to go this way and get to space your birth. And by the way, I decided to just skip World Showcase and just come over here and just go straight to Spaceship Earth because that's just what the day is bringing to me. I'm feeling it from the air and that's what we're going to do. I do love these walls here. Like look at how cute Figment is like just peeking out with his like color scheme here. I'm colorblind so I know but I know like what is going on there. I know that he's blue. Well he's purple. Too tiny moving. No, they don't say his color. I think he's purple. Look at that. They got the jumping fountains going. They got these girthy flower pots going here. They got a lot of really great things happening right now. There's no, no flowers out right now, except for these ones. These ones are kind of like tumbleweed. And then, oh, see, there's a tumbleweed going. But it stopped as soon as I started filming it. But, and we got these here. This is bizarre, because, you know, I haven't been here in so long. So, like, there's the restaurant and there's like you know the bubblegum walls over there and then you're like coming this way and the park exit's right there and oh my gosh it's kakamora <laughs> come on sorry i'm out of breath it's just i get so excited and i like run to things i got hey hey and then you won't even believe it did a very good thing and I set our cart to French so anyone that can speak French you got this. This one's for you. Yep. Okay, we're gonna have to do this. What kind of uh, what kind of quest bar would you get from Target or Publix? Um, the hot spicy one. Do you mix sugar with cheese? With plants. Would you have a quest bar if your motive was to be a fairy with exercising? No way. Do I take vitamins? None. What closest? Do you enter things with animals? Yes. Do I drink wine from the vine in the villa? Do I voyage into the future with vigilantes? Ah! I don't know, these don't seem like the questions I answered, but I don't know. Oh, I know what's going on. Yes, yes, I did talk about the quest bars. Oh, this is crazy. 
there is, when usually you get out of Spaceship Earth, there's usually so many people in here. Like, so many. And right now, it's just us. We can dance in here. We can, we can email ourselves our pictures without waiting for a computer. There's so much we could do right now. There's just no one in here. Ah, ah, uh-huh. Now we're going to go name the zone. I'm really excited for that. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, I almost jumped up in here. I shouldn't do that. And we're gonna go look at the starfish when we get done with Nemo. This is going to have some amazing air in a few seconds. I could feel the air already. There is air hitting my legs. And, oh, wow. Wait, where am I? Oh, this way. Look at this. Nothing out here but ocean for miles. And the queue has all these porticos. Um, portico shades dividing up all the rivets. What a visually pleasing ride this is. I used to have my nose pierced like that, but that shark right there, I had a little hook just like that, and I looked so cool. Everybody was afraid of me. I was so intimidating. In the big blue world, we're gonna go explore. Now, usually I don't do what I say I'm going to do on any of my vlogs, but this one I did say on the way in here, I was going to show you guys some starfish. I probably prematurely said that because I don't remember if there are any, but we're gonna try to see. I just heard somebody say, look at that starfish, so I'm coming over here. Wow, what a winner of a tank we just came to. Look at this seahorse. Wow. Look at that thing. I don't even know what it is. Maybe it's a pipe. And these aren't its legs, and those are some kind of critter next to the pipe. Okay. I finally did it everybody. I did what I said I was going to do and that is a starfish. This starfish looks like burnt pizza. Like that's the cheese and it was put in the oven for too long and now it's burnt and crusty and black. Look at So we got Marlon and Nemo. They're going out and back in and then Dory's just getting lost and keeps going in circles. I'm not sure who that guy is, but he's just as confused as she is. He seems, oh, yep, yeah, here he comes. All right, all right, so everybody's a critic. It's obviously not pizza, it's a burnt s'more starfish, but okay, whatever, you know? Opinions are like pizza starfish, everybody's gotta have one. Now we're going to go do living with the land right before we do Nutra Shop as dinner. Okay, what I meant to say was garden grocer. <laughs> Oops. Okay, what I actually had meant to say was Miracle Market. <laughs> Wowie, look at that. You know how many times I've come here to get that sandwich that I used to like that all of a sudden no longer was there anymore? And I had to find a table and I could never find one. But I did always creep up over on this side and then I found a table. When you look no further, there is tons of them. The secret powers of nature's table are at Garden Grove. <laughs> Sit down. They installed these windshields for every row here on this ride now. When I get to nature's table, these are actually for your food to be delivered to you. I read a story about this, this part here once, and you go inside of the house, and then inside of the house, you open up the front door, and it's a bunch of chickens, and they're playing Twister. In our search for these fish in the jacuzzi, they got like a little hot tub with a lot of jets for them. They're all avoiding it, but if I were that fish, I would be swimming straight through those tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles. You know the bladder pods that I was talking about earlier? That's them in mini form. In edible form, actually. When you're gonna make your pog juice, you know, the first ingredient is vodka. Now that's apparently rosemary. I don't know who to believe anymore about anything. Now what they're doing is applying pesticides on the boat for when we go out through the garden. Okay, come to find out it's liquid fertilizer. What do I know? I guess I don't know anything. Or it's cleaning fluid. What does she know? Soaring the tower, we are ready for takeoff. We're in the best row, CB1. Gotta always get in the CB1, and guess what we didn't even ask? We just ended up at the CB1. You know it's a good day when Patrick's in it. They have portico shades on all of the rows here too. And where are we? We're coming up on it right now. 
give it any minute. If you guys stick around, we'll be there in probably 20 minutes. <laughs> well, I'm starting the filming now. <laughs> All right, any second, we probably got 21 more minutes to go. We're hanging in there. Well, I'll show you when we get there. I know it's really strange that we're gaining minutes here, but it happens at Garden Grocer. Oh, a nice glow, okay. View. Very uh, good. You got it. Allie's got it. All that I can see is Pluto's whiskers springing back and forth oh. from here. <laughs> I see them. There they go. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Mickey. Bye. Thank you, he licked me. We got milk. We got tea, and we got something even more exciting. Not the Splenda. The straws. Woohoo! Bread. Bread. Butter. And butter. Salad vinaigrette. Uh, well, I could deal without that, but we got <laughs> bread and butter. It has been a whole 30 minutes. I timed it on my watch, and we are almost to the window. Oh boy, just in time. The bread and rolls just got here. Well, the bread What's rolls. It? The bread rolls and butter and salad. Do you guys like salad? Me neither. You I'm do? I'm not a fan. You do? You do? I'm not a salad. Yeah. Oh, See? throw it out, throw the, window. It out the window. Oh, by the way, we're at the window. Ten hours later. <laughs> but we're there. We've been waiting to go to Garden Grocer. That's what this is called, yes? No! Yes. All right, so the food has come out, and what's the most important part of this whole entire meal? <laughs> Look at that. So I paid $55 for mac and cheese with goldfish. It was worth every penny. I can't see them. I know you're there. Oh, now I see you're waving. Oh, okay, you're going up. <laughs> Can you see my hand? Yes. <laughs> and yes, miserable fail. But look at how beautiful this could have been if I would have filmed it when it came out. Okay, something that I had no idea about. They have bathrooms here, which would have come in handy so many times for me. And a local business popped up here. They got a Starbucks. Right before you get into World Showcase. Always support your local business. Between Canada and United Kingdom, there is a special place that I have only seen on film. One time I did go to the bathroom here, and instead of going out the way I came in, I went out the other exit, and I ended up in this prom. It was really strange, really bizarre, but it was fun. I am so excited to go in here. You have no idea. If I could redo my prom, I would do it here. You want me to talk about my prom? You guys probably don't want to hear it. I'll save that story for another day. I'm not here for the mac and cheese today because I just had it at Garden Grill. Thought you'd be so proud. Are you proud of me? I said Garden Grill. <laughs> I came for a cake pop after my dessert. It's my second dessert. I have come here for my second dessert of the evening. Look what he's doing. Look at what he's doing. Into the liquid ice nitrogen blaster. Oh, I can't see it now. But he's going to take our cake pops and stick them in that. The, the, oh, the bubbling water. The liquid nitrogen here at Epcot is actually negative 212 degrees Kelvin. Okay, well, um, my camera died during the eating of the pop, and I plugged it in back there, and oopsie, I ate it all. But it was good. It was good. After that cake pop, I'm a little bit hungry for ice cream, so we're going to stop off in France and get something I've never had before. But I wanted to show you guys how beautiful the sky is with the Skyliners in France. And there's no one here. I ordered my ice cream with a topping of Grand Marnier. I'm excited to see how they're going to do that. Oh, they have little little cookie, cookie uh, thingies here. I can't really see through the view. It's not in focus, but it's there. I'm on vacation. I had a really fun day today. I enjoyed it. I, I, I ate a lot of food. I had a lot of snacks. My sugar's probably sky high. I realized that um, to navigate summer here, paper masks 
are the best thing. Even though the, the, the cloth ones are cute. Well, this is going to be the end of my night here. The, the evening has fallen. There's still nobody here, which I mean, of course, there are not going to be more people at the park closing, unless they were all hiding and now they're all coming out at the end. <sighs> all right, everybody, that's it. I know I said that a million times in this like last few seconds. I'm just really full. I'd like another cake pop. <laughs>